This is a quick video directed to those who are playing on the Japanese PS2 because of all the events that are going on, especially in terms of the boosters, the passive boosters that are towards all quests. This is the big one I'm going to highlight. When it comes to this boost, it's because of the 8th year anniversary and the web panel awards for hitting a certain threshold. Guess what? The, this boost is to all quests. The 350% rare drop rate along with 200% in experience in Meseta. This is to every quest that is in the game, even if you use a trigger. So I have a sample trigger over here. I have a solo trigger that can pop. If I do accept a trigger quest, you can see a 350, 200, and 200 is present in this trigger run. So you will want to make sure that you pop a bunch of triggers. You do a bunch of runs as many as you can for a bunch of things so you can capitalize on this. Now, do you have to? Nope, that is entirely up to you. But this is a passive boost that can be stacked along with other boosters as well, especially your own boosters that you pop like a 350, a tri boost, 250, excuse me, a tri boost, an extra rare drop rate boost if you have one. Like you want to stack on these multipliers. It will help you, especially when it comes to power leveling and especially in terms of you trying to get that particular weapon in or unit you are trying to aim for, or maybe a certain ability if you're lucky. The next thing I'll talk about would be the limited quest. Now the limited quest, this one is in reference to episode 6, 8th year anniversary over here in the uh, Japanese PS2. Most likely Global is going to get it when they get to that certain point when they're done with episode 6 content. But this is a quest where it can drop a good chunk of S-class ability for units. This can also give you a lot of money and it can also give you a lot of Exocore stuff. Exocore glare and Exocore modules which you'll need for a later conversion that I'll talk about in the next video that I'm going to release. But you will want to spam this because it will disappear after maintenance. Now you can get a trigger and then you can use those triggers but you, uh, what is it? Yeah, you can get these triggers from this quest and then you can also sell these triggers but depending on scarcity and the demand of these triggers that might go high and or low you have to pay attention to the price and the various factors but yes this limited quest will disappear since i'm i'm, I'm talking about like the limited quest stuff i also want to talk about this emergency quest now i was running it and uh let's just say there's not a lot of people running it right now because there's not a lot of people online and i just been getting a bunch of shitty uh runs so yeah i, I just stopped the reason why you will want to do it is due to the things that it can drop, especially in terms of a certain ability. However, this is ultimately up to you if you want to try to get it. It's the Doom Breaks. Now, Doom Breaks, they were, are still a bit of a pain in the butt to try to farm for over here in the Japanese PSO2. There is a particular unit or boss you want to try to snipe slash aim for slash beat the fuck out of, and it's that pink monster from Vegas. Yeah, he's not easy... Maybe he is easy to pop up over here. I haven't farmed for him personally just because I don't really want to farm for it. The ability in itself is good. It's just that where we are at right now is not that grand. Now, I would actually go for something else like this particular thing just so I could try a certain build. The emergency quest is done now. But yeah, you can get a bunch of Doom Breaks, even a grade 3. So, yeah. Like, Doom Breaks are dropping like candy with this emergency quest. There are a good chunk of items that drop over here. The one that you might want to try to aim for is this Gun Slash. But other than that, all these are, like, debatable. Uh, most of these you'll most likely need to try to do the Steel and Puros upgrade. If you're not familiar with that video, upper right-hand corner or in the description. But yeah, you can run this emergency quest. The reason why you will want to run that emergency quest too is just so you can try to stack up on these uh, collection file gauges. The two collector files that are going to disappear with this emergency quest will be the ones where you can get certain 14 star eggs and then this one that are a bunch of 13 star weapons that are at plus 35. And they're also at a grind rarity of uh, 35 as well. But this is more of fodder for your new new type grinding for other weapons and are you, well, other weapons. We do have this new collection fire. I will talk about this one just because it's a bit unique and in terms of why I would want to do it even though you don't want the particular weapon is due to these things over here. But once again, separate video for that. Also, with the limited quest as well, just to 
mentioned this you might if you haven't leveled up the quest link boost you might want to try to do that just because with the quest link boost it does give you a bunch of additional boosters towards that particular quest so you can see there's a bunch of stuff over here i can't obviously read japanese but from what i remember on bump it said it's gonna give you if you hit this level which is at level 10 it's gonna give you well, it's going to give you this stuff, but since I maxed it out, like really maxed it out at 2 level 16, it's giving me a 240% rare drop rate boost, along with that 200 or 350, along with whatever boosters I decide to pop. But not only that, it's giving me a good chunk of materials as well, and then it's also increasing some of the chances for various high rarity units and or weapons. But you would want to try to get it to level 10. If you don't get it to level 10, just get it to whatever number you can go for. And then use that to your advantage when you spam these certain quests. Now the two quests that it's going to link towards will be Vegas, which is that emergency quest that I decide to stop running. And then the Promodio. Promodio is the big one though, just so you can get a chance to get the Aya weapon if possible. And or, you know, some of the particular units like the Crafts units. The last thing I'll emphasize on for this reminder will be the battle pass because it will it, it will disappear or it will expire when maintenance kicks in. It's going to be October 14th, 2020 at 159. I already gathered most of my stuff over here. I will most likely talk about the next battle pass that will pop up when the update is done. Uh, da, 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 but yeah, that's it for this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. I will mention these guys over here. I did mention them in my last video, but I'm going to make a separate video going more into details about them because they do have their own particular client orders and then they have their unique shop where you can actually get some all class weapons, some camos and some other goodies. You just have to do the collection files. It's, I think it's straightforward. Just read what you have to do. Once again, I'll make a separate video talking about it. But that is it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll make an update video for what I have been doing over here in the Japanese PS2 and what I plan to do for my channel in a separate video. But thank you guys for watching once again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.